Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be some weekend motivation. I'm going to be doing a lot of cleaning, a little bit of organization, and I'm also going to be doing a little bit of cooking, sharing a really delicious meatless recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like videos like this, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and don't forget to make sure your notification bell is hit. As soon as I woke up this morning, I started getting things done from the second I got out of bed, I got dressed and I got started on making my celery juice. I drink 16 to 18 ounces of pure celery juice every single morning. That's the very first thing that I do. I always have the most motivation in the mornings, so it's really beneficial for me to start going 100% as soon as I wake up because towards the evenings is when I really start to run out of energy and I lose motivation. So getting up and immediately getting all the things done that I can get done is something that really works for me. Before I go to bed every single night, I always run my dishwasher, so I always have a fresh load to unload when I wake up in the morning. So I went ahead and got that unloaded and then started filling that up with my dirty dishes from making my celery juice. Yeah. Next, I'm going to get started on cleaning my kitchen. It needs a really good wipe down. I'm going to really scrub my counters and my backsplash of my kitchen and just get everything nice and clean. So this took me by surprise. Oh, yeah. I do have to keep taking pauses during my cleaning day because I have a toddler. She is three years old if you're new to my channel and I am trying to keep her occupied and busy in a productive way. So we actually just got this toy sink. I got this from Jane.com and I think it is the cutest thing ever. We had one before but it broke. So I know they have these other places as well. I think you can get this on Amazon. Jane.com is a daily deal, so I don't know if I'll be able to link this exact sink, but if not, I will try to link something similar down below in the description box. It is the cutest thing. Scarlett loved it. She was able to clean with me. She did all of her dishes. This toy sink has actual running water, so it's a really cute concept for kids, and it kept her busy for a good amount of time while I got all the things done. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm using this surface scrub by Myers. I love using this in my sink. I feel like it cleans it really well. Also, all of my cleaning products have came from Grove Collaborative. I love shopping there for a lot of things, but my cleaning products specifically, it makes it super easy and convenient. It's like an online store and you just pick out what you want and they ship it right to your front door. Maybe half past two A little drunk but I'm alright Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love Tell me if I'm wrong Cause it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Come on, come on, come on, come on Come on, come on enjoyed filming this type of video today. It was nice to get everything done before the weekend and I really hope this brings some motivation to you all as well whether you do this this weekend or this coming week. Unfortunately I do not have comments on my channel thanks to YouTube but I do interact with you all over on Instagram so if you have any feedback or questions about this video please head on over to my Instagram account. I will share my handle right here on the screen. I would love to know what you thought about today's video if you have any recommendations, questions, comments. Um, whatever. I would just love to interact and chat with you guys over on Instagram.
And also, if this video does bring you motivation and you do do any cooking, organization, or cleaning over the weekend, please tag me on Instagram so I can reshare it. I would love to spread the motivation by sharing what you guys are doing in your home. So make sure to tag me over on your Instagram stories so I can see. This rug and then the rug in my kitchen are by Ruggable. They're matching and they're awesome because they are washable. So I can literally just take off the top part and throw it in my washer and it's clean. These rugs are great for highly trafficked areas in my opinion or dining rooms, something like that. But I have really been loving the ones that I got. Um, they are fairly new and I will leave a link to these down below as well. A little crazy for you now, baby. I I love using this vinegar concentrate for my floors. I just add a little bit of this with some warm water and then I have the O Cedar Spin Mop. This thing's great. Um, I love this. I'm so happy I got this a couple months ago. It's been a great mop to have. And I'm so lucky to be yours. wanting to do this for a while. I'm going to move this little cubicle into Scarlett's closet and use this for some organization for her toys. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the move today. You guys will see here in a second, Scarlett's closet is insane. It's so messy. It was so nice to get this project done today because her closet has been driving me crazy and it looks so much better. You guys will see here in a second. Ain't nobody like so lucky to be yours. I frequently get asked where my kitchen table and chairs are from and they're from a brand called Article. My couch is also from Article. Article is one of my favorite furniture brands. They are so good. They're like really modernized mid-century pieces, but I do have a discount code that actually expires in like less than 30 days. I want to say like 28 days it expires, but I have a link and if you use that link, you'll actually save $50 off your purchase of $200 or more. So if you guys want to check that out, it's a really good deal. They don't ever really offer coupons. So if you're interested in anything from Article now, is a good time to check them out. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. So I wait about 30 minutes to eat breakfast or even drink coffee after my celery juice, but because I was so busy today, I ended up waiting like an hour and a half to eat breakfast and drink coffee and I was ready. So I quickly made some sweet potatoes and three eggs because I had three eggs left. And I also made some coffee and my espresso and I just thought I'd share with you guys what I was having for breakfast. So 
as you can see, Scarlett's room's an absolute disaster, her closet's even worse, and her closet is the main organization part of this video I'm going to tackle today. I'm gonna get this thing looking a lot better. I went ahead and picked up one of these little shoe shelves. Um, it's like a horizontal shelf from Target. I shared these in my closet organization video. I bought a bunch off of Amazon, but I found that Target has them as well. So I'll link both the Amazon and the Target one down below, but these shelves are so convenient when it comes to closets like mine. These shelves just really help utilize dead space and um, I've really gotten a good use out of them. I'm going through Scarlett's clothing right now and I'm taking off a few things that I know does not fit her and then I'm going to go ahead and get everything organized by types of clothing. So like her shirts are going to be over to the left and then I'm going to color coordinate them as well. Next I'm going through all of her toys and just putting them back in their place. I'm not worrying about purging anything right now or getting rid of things she doesn't play with. I'm literally just trying to find the right place for the toys. <laughs> After I've tackled Scarlett's closet, I'm going to start working on her room and first things first, I'm going to take off her sheets because her sheets do need washed. So I threw those in the washer and then I'm just going to get her room cleaned up because it is a mess. There's random things everywhere. I love using this lavender carpet refresher before I vacuum in my carpeted rooms. It smells so good and I feel like it just gives my rooms a nice fresh scent. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. I can't get you out of my These are just some random items that need to be taken to donation, so I'm just getting these all put together. And then later, Scarlett and I are actually gonna go drop these off. Let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I Ok, 
Okay, so for this recipe, this is everything you're going to need. You could totally tweak this depending on what you like in your tacos, but this is what I do. So I have two sweet potatoes, a yellow onion, a lime, two avocados, some sweet corn, corn and wheat tortillas. I have some Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix. Um, I also have this taco sauce, which I've never tried before, but I'm gonna give it a shot today. Some black beans, cilantro, and then I also have cotilla cheese and honey. I actually left one ingredient out. I also used garlic, but the very first thing I'm going to do is peel my potatoes, get those chopped up, and then get those in the oven. I have them roasting for about 25 minutes or so at 425 degrees. Before I put them in the oven, I did drizzle them with olive oil, and then I also added about half of the packet of the taco seasoning from Trader Joe's. I'm going to chop up some onion. I have this chopper by OXO. It's seriously the best thing ever. Everybody needs one of these. It makes things so easy. Also, if you have a picky eater who doesn't like, like onions or something in food and you're trying to disguise it, AKA a toddler, um, this works really well because you can chop these up really fine. I'm going to add some olive oil to a pan on the stove and I only added about half of the onion. I'm also going to add some garlic once my onions cook a little bit, and then I'll add my corn and my black beans. Then I'm gonna add half of a lime juice, and then I'm also gonna add a drizzle of honey. Next, I'm going to add my chopped up cilantro. I used my same OXO chopper to chop up all of this. So I'm gonna add that in, give it a good stir, fry up my tortillas, and then it's time to plate my tacos. I'm going to add some cotilla cheese, top it with avocado, and then some of my taco sauce as well. And it doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just feel I need to take a I'm not a vegetarian, I eat meat, but I do like to occasionally cook meatless, and oh my gosh, these tacos were bomb. This is definitely one of my new favorite recipes, plus it's really easy. But after I'm done eating, I'm just gonna finish up a few things. I'm exhausted by this point, I'm so tired. So I'm just going to tidy up my living room, put my pillows back where they go, fold up my blankets, that kind of stuff. And then I have my ruggable rugs that are dry that need to be laid back out. And then I also need to make Scarlett's bed because it is just about nap time. But that wraps up today's video. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this brought some kind of motivation to either cook, clean, or organize this weekend or going into the new week, starting some organization for you and your home. If you guys enjoyed this video and wanna see more videos like this, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up so I know to make more. Also, if you're new here, I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. I do a lot of daily vlogs on my channel, but I also like to do some cleaning, organization, cooking, that kind of stuff as well. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. Also, if you are subscribed, you might make sure that your notification bell is checked and hit so you can be notified when I do post new videos. I typically post about three videos a week. Follow me over on Instagram. I always try to interact with you guys over there since I do not have comments on my channel. Make sure to check out the links below. I'll try to link as much as I can and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.